you are going to outsmart everyone on Rebirth Island because I have more than 70 jump spots for you. If you played Rebirth Island during Warzone 1 days, this will be a great refresher for you. And if you haven't, then you need to know about these spots. They will help you make 200 IQ plays, especially in the final circle, or win against a team of campers by coming in from a spot they did not expect. And now that Ranked is on Rebirth Island, these spots combined with some team coordination will make winning way easier. So don't forget to share this with your squad. All right, so we're starting off with Bioweapons Lab. We have the first spot, which is right here to get to this roof. Instead of mantling like this and being exposed to the entirety of this roof, you can go inside, move out this window like the sledge like this and jump up and now you're here. The second and third jump spot are going to be near these two metal objects where you just go near them. You're going to see a window right under you and you can just jump down. Ouch. Please don't kill me, and we're safe. And the third one is going to be over here. It's a bit harder to do because there's some metal parts near the window, but it is doable, and I do use it sometimes when there's a lot of people fighting. These are the metal parts, which can slide to the left a bit. You can hide here, actually, which is a great spot. Like, you can even go prone. So if you're trying to hide from somebody, they're chasing you, and you're just camping here, or something like this happens. That works. <laughs> And the fourth one is going to be from the roof to that window in case you don't want, don't want to do these two jumps and you feel like you're inconsistent with them. And you can just go like this. Well, that was weird, but that worked again. And the last one isn't a certain jump spot. It's just an idea that keep in mind if you jump off this side of the roof, you're going to have all these windows that you can jump inside of if you want to like instantly go back inside the building and confuse somebody. All right, and now for chemical engineering, we have quite a few spots. So if you land outside... If you land outside on one of these rails, you can use these rails to climb up to the roof and then get to the spot over here. All right, and if you go... If you go to one of these two rails, you can jump up to the roof. So let's kill this guy using that. Oh, I think he jumped down. So yeah, as you can see, you get up from here. Or you can get up from here. Okay. And if you want to attack the enemy from an angle that they won't expect, go to the other end of the roof, all the way to the end. And you're going to have a window here and a window here that you can jump to. So you can either jump here or all the way over here from the top. Now, if you're on the outer side of any chemical engineering and you don't want to take the traditional routes, what you can do is you can climb up from this way all the way here. Or you can jump from here to this ledge right here, which is a good camping spot, by the way. If you like to camp or need to hold a power position in the final circle, this is a good way to catch the enemy off guard. Anyways, you jump on here, and then you jump all the way to that ledge, and you can climb like this. Instead of taking the traditional known route where people can be holding those angles. Ouch! Alright, and next up we have Harbor, and although relatively it's a small building compared to the other ones, it's just two floors, it has quite a lot of jump spots. Oh wait, let me kill this guy. Ha! He died as well. He died from his own cluster mine. <laughs> Anyway, so the first jump spot is you use this to climb to the roof and you chase him over here. You jump down like this, you jump down like this, you chase him and you say BOOM! BOOM! Anyways. Alright, so the first jump spot is you can jump to this. Bro! <laughs> Wait, I killed the guy that had a sniper. No, but he's a sniper. Alright, he's still here. Now, the first spot is you can climb up here and get to the roof that way, or you can use this wall. And from here, you can do whatever you want. You can even like jump down here and access this window and use this to go back to the roof. And you can get here by going from the outside, from this side. You can go from this side. Now, another thing you can do with Harbor is you can climb up to this and then jump all the way here and catch the enemy off guard. All right, so another spot is you can jump here and jump all the way here and get to the roof. And another harder way, I mean, I won't advise you guys to do it, but if you have to, you have to. Maybe you can't go here for some reason. You can just jump from the ledge of the balcony. But it's just way easier to do it from this ledge. 
Apparently not. Okay, there you go. Somebody's here. No, 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 for this building, there's only this spot where you can jump on this and then mantle on this and climb here. It's like a, just a weird angle that nobody will expect. It's a good way to like start going here or going here and here. And the other one is you can jump from here all the way to here and go inside this catwalk or whatever you call it. You stay here, go up to the roof, you can jump down. Lots of spots that you can do just because of this place. And then from here, you can just climb to the roof. Easy as that. And from the front side, you can just climb up to this, which will give you access to the roof really quickly. And you can climb on this, for example, to climb to the roof and try to sneak up somebody holding this building. All right, and now for factory and the building right next to it, we have around five spots. All right, so the first spot is going to be taking these two boxes. You can just climb up here and you can mount to the roof. You can do the same from this box, so you go to this roof. The third jump spot, you can't do it with a normal jump, so if I just tax sprint and jump, I won't be able to make it here. You have to tax sprint, dolphin dive, and then open your chute. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> and you'll be able to mantle. And there's another window you can jump from, it's right here, right next to this AC unit. You can jump down from here and catch somebody off guard over here as well. And the last spot at factory would be right here, where you can just jump up these boxes and go to the second floor and dodge death just like I did. And for the last spot with this building near factory, if you want to get on the roof, it's plain and simple. You avoid death again. You go around this building. <laughs> Bro, let me just record, please. You get on top of these battles or boxes and you're on the roof. All right. No, no, today is not the day for recording. All right, and now for prison, we only have a few spots in this area. This is gonna be from prison to another spot. So you can climb up any part of this, start walking up this railing here, this concrete thingy. You can jump here and now you're here, you can go up to the roof. And once you're on the roof, oh, somebody's here. You can just pop here and jump back down like this and catch somebody off guard. The other spot is you can get an off angle over here. Once you're on the roof, you can go from here. Oh, oh, shit! Wow, okay. All right, now another spot we have here is to go up here. You can go to the window. You can go to this floor. Or for a really nice off angle. And we'll go to the roof. And of course, you can jump down these. Um, there's only like two main spots and the rest are just like repetitive which is like jumping up these boxes or anything basically that will get you to the second floor but over here this is a really important one which you can access through this bed or whatever it is because a lot of people like to camp here so this is a, probably one of the only spots that you can counter them from and the other spot please don't i don't want to fight bro i've been fighting every time i record i really don't want to fight it is same here but you don't need to hop on something yo you don't need to hop on something and now you're here. All right, and the last one from this side of the prison is you can go, if this is here, so you stand somewhere here, you jump down and you can go inside here and catch a camper off guard. Maybe they're holding your stairs, you know? I'm on 20 kills. I know I'm not supposed to be playing for the win, but I mean, like, I might as well get it. I'm on 20 kills without trying and like close to final circle. Let's get it. Is he here? Nope, he's above.
I have a golden gas mask. So this is actually the perfect time to make a play. Perfect, and that's an example. Ah, please don't lag. Oh my god. I hit him. No way, that's the last guy? Ah, oh, he's not that good. Lucky me. GG's. Alright, and for as for the small area near prison, I know sometimes can be hard because of the, a lot of people like camping these things. It's hard to push them and kill them sometimes. So if you're able to approach them without showing them like where you are so there's no line of sight there's a few ways you can approach this aside from the stairs always like take these for some headies at different spots you can use these tents and you can actually jump in like this or go up and then from here you can also use these boxes to approach any sneaky way or you can use these boxes on this side oh perfect timing actually Or you can get up here, so you can like try to get an off angle as well with some cover or to go up prison. Alright, now moving on to industry, you can start from this side of the building, you can climb up these battles, then over here and go inside. You can even like stand here and catch somebody off guard or buy yourself some time in case you're running away and you're waiting for that resurgence timer to go down. But sadly on this side, you can't do anything unless like you're going like this, which is still a good idea. You can keep running like this all the way to the end where there should be a window and you can just flank somebody from this way. Of course, you can get to the roof using these boxes, but if you don't want to use these boxes because they're the common spot and you don't want to take a ladder that will cause too much noise, what you can do is jump off any of these edges here, climb to any part of this wall that goes all the way to there, and then from there you can easily access the roof. There's, a, there's another spot right here as well, but it doesn't work on these edges. You have to climb onto one of these two. So, for example, you go sideways and then you can climb up. All right, and now for one of the sweatiest spots on Rebirth Island, Grandma's house. So we got a few spots here, a few different ways of using it. So this ledge, you can jump from here to here and go inside or just peek with an up angle. You can jump right here and they can go here and enter through this window. And then from the balcony, you can jump up here and go inside this, or you can move to this spot on the roof and jump inside this window. And if you're on the roof, there's also a better way to go to HQ, head, uh, which is this building right here. You go up the roof, you can use it as an off angle to hit somebody, and then you can instantly get to the roof this way. And you don't have to actually like uh, use the ladder, you can even do it just to the ledge instantly, which makes things way easier. And also from this part of headquarters, you can just jump with an off angle here, instead of exposing yourself by jumping the, the normal way from this window to this ledge to this spot. Now it's time for headquarters. We already discussed about jumping from the roof of grandma's to the headquarters. Of course, the typical ways that you can jump up here and go inside this room. Oh. Or jump to this ledge and go inside here, whether it's from the truck or from grandma's. Holy! Another thing you can do is you can climb to this truck and jump sideways inside here. You can also jump from the truck all the way to here and go inside here or here and you can also do that from this side or you can go to the roof with it and from the roof you can access the roof this way or you can jump down over here and get like an off angle again or you can go down here go up this go inside here or you can jump over here jump to this metal part go inside this window and then mantle to the top and then access the roof or get an off angle and of course from here you can access the roof but that's no longer a thing that's very important because now they added a ladder to this spot. Which brings us over to this building right next to headquarters and prison. I don't know what you guys call it. Some people call it sniper tower building. Whatever you want to call it. So there aren't a lot of jump spots here. Just know that, like I said, there's this ladder. And if you want to reduce the noise, you can climb up from here. Or you can use this ladder to jump down here, actually. So it's a good two-way street. And once you're on the roof, you can either use the prison roof or this roof to jump into one of these windows over here either this one or the one next to it and now for living quarters i want to start with the first spot which is going to be accessible from any part here as long as you have high ground you can jump down from any high ground you can make it to this roof right here and then you can jump into this window or this window oh no
No way you're that bad, bro. With the Renetti. Another way you can access it as well is if you're on the roof, of course, you can jump down and make it to any of these windows. But also you can do the opposite, which is go out this window, get to this, and go inside and make a flank and vice versa. Although this one is a little bit harder, but it does work. This is a good way to catch people off guard. And from here, the last part is you can jump from here all the way to here. That was a bad jump. You can even do it better with the parachute dolphin dive. And then for the buildings next to living quarters, there's a few ways you can do this here. So you can go up here. You can go to this ledge, run, and then snap to the left. You need to dolphin dive and open your parachute and you'll be able to go inside here. And you can do the opposite as well. And then you can go inside here if you want or jump down, whatever you want to do. And then from here, you can go outside this window and climb up the ladder. Now, why is that important? Because if you're going to go up from here, it's going to make a lot of noise. They're going to hear you coming. But if you're going to jump from this window to the ladder, you're going to make minimal to no noise. And they, sometimes they won't have enough time to react. And of course, from the roof, you can jump down this window or from the ladder. As you see, you can just jump sideways and go inside the window and catch somebody off guard, probably holding the stairs. Or you have somebody pushed from here, somebody pushed from here, and somebody pushes from here. So everything that we're doing here can be implemented in solos, duos, or twos. Everybody takes a different point of approach, some of which are common, the others are not, and that will give you the chance to catch the enemy off guard and get the squad wiped and stay alive. Now that was for that building. For this building, sadly, the only way you can go to this window is by going to the roof and then jumping down. You don't have to open your chute, you can also just like mantle in. There's the window. And then for this building, I wouldn't say there's a lot of jump spots. There isn't any, but you guys should know that this building is a bit unique where it has this lower floor accessible from here and from here. So you can do certain plays and outplays just by holding these different angles and going back and forth, back and forth. This is one of the best buildings if you want to win and be good at close quarter fights. All right, and now for Control Center, we do have a few spots that, well, one spot that nobody talks about a lot. It's quite the sneaky one. So first of all, let's start with the normal ones, which is to go outside here to this box, go on top here to this roof, or you can use these railings here to get on top of this roof or get on top of this roof. And you can climb up here. You can go all the way around if you want, or you can get up on the roof. Now, these are the known spots, which are very important, by the way. But the spot that nobody seems to talk about, I don't know if we're going to have enough time for it. I don't think we are. Uh, yes, it's to jump on this one. Oh, no. And the last part is by climbing to this ledge and then you can jump all the way here. You can even like go pro and you have a good sight of these, like nobody would predict this. And you can also like catch somebody off guard here. All right, and for the final part, we got stronghold. There isn't a lot of spots here, but there's a couple that should be noticed. So if you land on this place right here, this artillery cannon, you can actually go inside this room, uh, which is always heavily canned by that uh, only access, which is the stairs. So like this, somebody's camping it, they're done. You can also access it from here, but usually this is also camped and held. And then there's the regular spots like taking this or jumping up to this and then climbing the wall and coming up here. Ooh. Why challenge me, bro? And if you don't want to take the wall, you can take these two as well. If the game would let me, yep. And you can climb up here and go to the roof instead of taking the ladder. And of course, if you want to take the ladder, it'll be as silent. You jump and then take it. It'll make minimal noise. Another spot would be right here. If you want, can jump up here and go to the roof this way, making it way easier. Another thing I like to do is take the zip line, open the chute, and then go inside here like this. So in case they're holding an angle like this and they're seeing me try to do this jump, that's another way they won't expect. Oh, and if you have a zip line here, oh sh 
like I was saying, if you have a zip line here, you can also access this uh, big green building using the zip line. I can just go inside this window. I don't have Mountaineer though. That was a bit risky, but you get the guy. You get the point, guys. And that was it. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, a like and sub will be highly appreciated. And if you want to watch the streams or get some Warzone coaching, both of the links are in the description below. And as always, play hard and smart, and I'll catch you in the next one.